welcome back. Um, I'm Tony May from the World Conference on Transport Research Society, and I have the honor of uh, chairing this uh, innovators platform. Um, we've heard from keynote speakers both yesterday and today that business as usual is no longer acceptable, that we need to innovate, and we need to innovate in technology, we need to innovate in demand management, we need to innovate in governance. We've four speakers this afternoon and a slightly different structure from that which we've had in previous sessions. Each of the speakers has 15 minutes and I will provide five minutes for questions uh, on each speaker's presentation. Um, we have two constraints. First of all, uh, Henry Lee has a flight later this evening, so he will leave almost immediately after his presentation. So please make sure you ask your questions of him before he leaves the room, otherwise you have problems. Um, the second is that I'm instructed that um, those from the press among you need to be moving into the ministerial meeting uh, next door uh, at about 20 past six. So at about 20 past six, we will break and we will have an opportunity to visit one of these four uh, innovations. And I will leave you to guess which, but more will be uh, declared later. So without further ado, I'd like to invite uh, Henry Lee um, uh, from BYD Company uh, to present some ideas about um, the development of uh, battery technology. Henry. Hello. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. And uh, it's tough to continue the whole long day, but appreciate all your attentions. Uh, we wait for the presentations. So it's more or less continue the last session, giving more details and about especially focus on the electrification of public transportation uh, with more figures. Um, so BYD is about building dreams, green dreams. We have three green dreams. First, to make affordable solar energy production. Second, to have a storage energy storage system available for wind farms, solar farms, and in, the, in our neighborhood. And third is to have the mass adoption of the electric mobility in the cities. Today, in cities, we take this as a granted. We ignore it because it happens every day. We take it as usual to have a polluted air and have the dangerous traffic in the city. But we should make a change on that. First, in the first place, there's urgent need of e-bus and e-taxis in the cities. The reason behind this is that considering the efficiency of the farm, because currently in all countries, more or less, for electric mobility, there's a subsidy incentive programs or other incentives to in encourage people to use more electric cars because there's uh, many restrictions or obstacles for people to really buy an electric car. Firstly, because of the shorter range. S secondly, it's because of the high price of electric cars. Also, lack of infrastructures, charging infrastructures. So people are reluctant to buy. So why not we focus on the public transportation sector, which government can play an important role, and consider the, the effectiveness in terms of emission and pollution for each taxi that's equivalent to 10 private cars. One city bus equivalent, equivalent to 30 private cars in terms of fuel consumption and emission. So if we change, first change the electric taxi, uh, uh, taxi to electric taxi and buses, city buses to electric buses, we can immediately have this effect so this is a simple calculation. We take London as example. London, they have a population of, of about uh, uh, 19,000 units of taxis and 8,500 buses. So if we can reduce this 
that's the total number is 0.93% of the total car park plus bus in the city. But the reduction of emission is 15.18%. So this is dramatic uh, effect with limited input. The benefits are clear. By electrifying the taxi and bus fleet in, in London, it can reduce the, the, the fuel consumption by 445 million ton, liters each year and avoid 1.5 million tons of local CO2 emissions. And also, the polluted uh, content like NOx and particles. And noise can be much, noise can be much, much lower. And from electric buses we have tested compared to the diesel bus, the noise level can be only 30% or even lower. And no heat radiation because the experience in the, in the busy cities, the buses give noise, heat, and polluted air. So this could be el eliminated from the city. On the other side, in the long term, if you compare the, the operating cost, operating cost from the electric electricity that's roughly 30% or below compared to diesel, for diesel. So if you run the buses and taxis, if you take bus as example, the annual operating cost you can save uh, by, uh, by city bus uh, is 26,000, more than 26,000 pounds. And eight years operation time, you can save up to 211,000, two, uh, uh, sorry, 211,000 pounds. So this can offset a little bit the high initial cost of electric buses. But that's still not enough. That's why government involvement and incentives are still necessary to encourage people to start using these new technologies. Uh, here, just give some examples. Uh, this is the bus we are making, and we supply to Shenzhen City in China. Uh, 250 will be delivered before August, and uh, additional 200 will be delivered before end of the year. And actually, Shenzhen City has very ambitious target, and from our point, it's an achievable target want to electrify all the taxis and all the buses in the city in five years' time. That's about 12,000 12, uh, buses and 13,000 taxis. So you can imagine if they can achieve that, there will be a great, great improvement in the city uh, environment. We, in the last session, we talked about livability. So that's provided to every citizen a much better society. And this is accessible to all peoples. So this benefit is to all the peoples. And here's the taxi we deliver. Uh, another 300 new taxis, e-taxis will be delivered uh, to Shenzhen City. Uh, this is the first step. And we think that the step will be followed. And this could be a very important movement in the city. And I think this is government, uh, the, the area that government should do, should lead the industries to develop this kind of uh, uh, mobility. The conclusion is that electrifying taxi fleet and bus fleet is the quickest way to reduce CO2 emissions and pollutions from the uh, city centers. And incentive policies should give priority to the public transportation. And the solutions are available now. This, uh, if you have interest, you can um, to, uh, visit our website and see the technical data because the time constraint, I cannot go further detail to the technical aspects. And the solutions are available today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.